the establishment is kind of a joke. Uh, take a look at Trump and take a look at who he's appointed for the cabinet. Uh, practically every, the, his latest appointment today, the Secretary of Treasury, Nuchin, that's the most important position that determines a lot of what happens in the economy. Is he anti-establishment? He comes from Goldman Sachs, a major investment firm, where he was, I think, for almost 20 years and a billionaire and so on. Uh, if What's anti-establishment? Uh, this is drawing from the uh, billionaire class, uh, largely financial institutions, uh, military and so on. In fact, uh, take a look at the stock market. That tells you how anti-establishment it is. As soon as Trump was elected and since uh, stock values in financial institutions uh, escalated to the sky, they're delighted. He's going to eliminate regulations, uh, uh, let them uh, make more profit. Uh, of course, it'll lead to another crash, but that's somebody else's problem. The taxpayers will take care of that. Uh, energy corporations, uh, stock values exploded. Uh, uh, the biggest coal producer, Peabody Coal, uh, was actually in bankruptcy proceedings, but immediately after the election, its stock value went up 50% later more. Now that shows you how anti-establishment it is.